Welcome to Microwave Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain degenerate modes in microwave. So first of all, in this session, I'll be explaining what is degenerate modes. So degenerate modes, those are the modes where frequency of operation is same for all those modes. So for example, if I say two or more modes that is having same cutoff frequency, then these modes are called as a degenerated modes. So let us write first definition. So degenerated modes that is having same frequency. So when two or more modes have the same cut off frequency they are said to be degenerated modes so when two or more modes have same cut off frequency they are said to be degenerated modes when we talk about rectangular wave guide its cut off frequency that could be defined as per for rectangular rec wave guide cut off frequency based on dimension could be defined as c divided by 2 into m by a whole square plus n by b whole square so this is what cut off frequency which is there with rectangular wave guide and when we talk about rectangular wave guide at that time this a and b that is dimensions of rectangular wave guide where one can clearly see if i say this is rectangular wave guide then this is A and this is B. So A is width of rectangular wave guide and B is thickness of rectangular wave guide. And based on these dimensions of rectangular wave guide, cut off frequency could be defined as per FC is equals to C by 2 into square root of M by A whole square plus N by B whole square. Here, when we talk about rectangular wave guide, in rectangular wave guide tem mode means transverse electromagnetic mode is not possible so in rectangular wave guide tem mode is not possible so only te or TM mode can propagate in rectangular wave guide. So only TE or TM mode can propagate in rectangular wave guide. And when we talk about rectangular wave guide, only T and TM modes can propagate. And that modes can be defined as TEMN and for transverse magnetic mode it is defined as TMMN. Now as we know for modes if I say TE11 and TM11 so in case of TE11 or Tm11 m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 1. So frequency for both of the modes if we calculate then that is same. So Te11, Tm11 those are degenerate modes. Likewise there are multiple degenerate modes which is possible in rectangular waveguide where m and n value for Te as well as Tm is same. So these modes are degenerate modes in microwave for waveguides. 
so when we talk about basic understanding regarding what is degenerate modes so degenerate modes are those modes where those modes are having similar cutoff frequency and as we know in the rectangular wave guide tem mode does not propagates so te and tm modes are only possible so te mn and tmm tm mn transverse electric as well as transverse magnetic mode which is having modes of operation as per mn and those are if similar in that case those are degenerated modes so for example i have given one example like if i say te11 and tm11 so both are having same cut off frequency so this two mode are degenerate modes likewise if i say there is te21 and here tm21 so that is having same cut off frequency if you substitute values into this then that will result into same cut off frequency so those are degenerate modes so in short one can say degenerate modes are those modes where cut off frequency is same so, and it is like sometimes there could be more than two modes which is having same cut off frequency so that even said to be degenerate modes so definition is like when two or more modes are having same cut off frequency then these are degenerate modes so here i am giving example of two modes which is having same cut off frequency but sometimes one can find there could be multiple modes which is having same cut off frequency so those modes should be considered as degenerated modes thank you so much for watching this video and if you have query then you just place that in comments definitely we will discuss about that and i'll try to resolve your queries regarding that thank you so much for watching this video